Crazy Chef, big big vibe. Today we're making crab stuffed salmon. And you know, you wanna watch this video to the end because we'll be doing three things in this video. First of all, we're gonna fillet a salmon. Biggest vibe. So first you're gonna learn how to properly fillet a salmon. Second of all, we're gonna stuff a salmon. So we're gonna teach you how to make this beautiful crab stuffed salmon that you're seeing on your screen. Okay. Thirdly, I'm gonna show you a easy, easy, easy way to make a lemon dill beurre blanc. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the vibe. Smash that like button. Support the channel. If it's your first time here, you might want to hit that red subscribe button. So what I did is I take a couple pounds of crab meat. I put some red bell peppers, some green bell peppers, some parsley, some garlic, some lemon juice, and a little bit of olive oil mix that together hit that with a liquor bit of salt and pepper because what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't overpower your crab meat you're gonna add some mayo not too much not too little just enough to bind your ingredients together Okay, so we add our mayo and you're gonna mix that into your crab meat. After you mix that, you're gonna set it aside. You can put it in your refrigerator or you can just leave it on the side. And just let it chill, just for a vibe. Crazy Chef, big vibe. As I said, smash that like button. Look how delicious that look. And that we could use for a crab cake recipe but we leave that for a different day so let me know in the in the comment section below if you want me to drop that crab cake recipe so look how easy I fillet my salmon so I take off the belly right take the belly off flip it around so it's the tail is facing you take your knife gently push it against the skin of the salmon and look at that number one as i said you don't want to skip this video because you will miss it and i said i got three things to show you in this particular video so we fillet our salmon i'm on may maybe five six ounce pieces not weighing it, not measuring it, just winging it. So, six ounce pieces, and I'm gonna show you two ways. Uh oh, I'm showing you four things. I said three, but now I'm gonna show you two ways to stuff your salmon. So, I just gave you a bonus, right? Let me know in the comment section if I gave you a bonus. So, this is my personal way of filling the salmon, of uh, making the pocket, right? So, I take my knife and I gently push it all the way through and I just just cut it right down and I make a pocket right look at that smart next I'm gonna show you how everyone else score their salmon right so I make the pocket everyone else just cut it right on the top and that's most people do their salmon like that I just like to make the pocket holds more crab meat that's just my vibe right next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my salmon with that dry rub you know me if you follow my channel you know I like to hit it with that dry rub right in this particular video I'm not using the crazy chef dry rub usually I have the crazy chef dry rub on deck this time you can you can use whatever you want you can use some lemon dill dry rub you can use just salt and pepper 
This is just something I bought from the store. It's like an odd purple season. That's the vibe I want. And then I'm gonna hit it with some cracked pepper and some salt. That's it. I'm gonna just hit it with some cracked pepper and some salt. Crazy chef, big vibe. Big, big, big vibe. So, cracked pepper, salt, and then I'm gonna just stuff them. Stuff them. As I said, I'm gonna show you three things. If you made this thus far, you've seen two. Now we're gonna stuff our salmon. You wanna stay to the end of the video because we're gonna give you that extra, extra vibe. I'm giving you three vibes. I gave you two. And I'm gonna give you the, the next one at the end of the video. So, just because I'm gonna air fry my salmon, I always when I do when I ear fry anything I like to put a little bit of oil just for a vibe because you know ear fry dries it out a little bit so I wanna put a little oil so this is my first salmon so what I do is I take the crab meat and I just put it in the pocket of my salmon just like that right in the pocket right it's my first salmon right in the pocket and then this is you know, everyone makes it like this one. They just put it right on the top. I don't like it like that. I like it in the pot. Well, I'm doing two times just to see which one works better. Crazy Chef, big vibe. Hit that like button. If it's your first time here, hit that red subscribe button. Be a part of the vibe, right? As I said, I'm going to leave a detail detailed recipe in the description box below so don't worry the recipe is coming a lot of times I don't leave the recipe but this time I'm gonna leave you a detailed recipe in the description box so don't worry about the recipe just follow the video right and then if you like the guy share the video it's good crazy chef big vibe 8,000 plus subscribers guess we're doing something on the YouTube channel right so we stuffed our salmon you want to grease you want to put a little bit of olive oil in your ear fry if you do it in the oven you know you want to grease your pants just the same but if you're doing it in the air fryer a little bit of olive oil and just put it in Air fry mode all the way. Nice, juicy salmon. Okay, come on. So, a little bit more oil. Put them in. As soon as we put them in, we turn it on. Air fry mode. And then now we're going to work on our lemon burger. Right? Lemon dill burger. So, what I do is I put some onion. I like onions. I like onions. Put some onions, saute them, a little bit of heavy cream, a little bit of lemon juice, and we're gonna let that reduce, right? We're gonna reduce that all the way. So we're gonna reduce that like a 75% reduction on this, right? So we're gonna reduce that, and you're gonna see. As I said, you're getting three things from this video. You get a lemon burp lemon peel burp 